your KRCG 13 storm vision forecast with Zach Paul. Well, clouds are going to stick around the area here this evening, and we're going to find rain returning to the forecast as we get a little bit later on into your evening. We'll be dry tonight, but that changes after midnight tonight. That's when we'll really start to find those rain chances ramping up again after midnight into the morning here on your uh, Friday. Again, uh, temperatures here this evening will be all right, though, falling back into the 50s, into the upper 40s to right around 50 degrees for your Friday morning. Winds here this evening out of the east to northeast around maybe 5 to 10 miles per hour. Clouds have been rolling in through the late afternoon. Rain beginning to show up on the radar here. Some of that showing up along the I-44 corridor area. Not a lot of that making it to the ground just yet, but that will all change as we go uh, a little bit later on into your evening. Areas around the lake might find some of that rain closer to 10 o'clock, but for most of us, it's going to be after midnight. Temperatures, not bad here this afternoon. We've made it into the mid and upper 60s to right around 70 degrees. Here at 6 o'clock, we're still in the mid to upper 60s. 67 to one of the warm spots in Fulton, Max Creek, the warmest at 68. Right now, 66 in Dixon and Vandalia. You're at 63 degrees. Here is a live look right now over the Capitol. Cloudy on our Scruggs Lumber camera, 67 degrees in Jefferson City with winds right now out of the east and southeast at 10 miles per hour. Again, we're starting to find the moisture returning to the area. Some rain showers, really at least the ones making it to the ground across extreme southern Missouri right now across the Missouri and Arkansas state line. We are also going to find another cold front move through. You can find that cloud cover with that system across Nebraska and up through Minnesota there in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Again, it is going to be a wet Friday. For most of us, we'll find some of that rain here after midnight, but not everybody is going to get wet with this system. The higher rain totals are going to be along that I-44 corridor area, but from around Moberly to Sedalia, and you take that line and you go more to the northwest, there will be areas there that pick up very little, if any, rain with this system through the day on Friday. While most of us will have a little bit of a dry time briefly for your Friday afternoon, we'll find the rain picking back up again Friday afternoon and evening and continuing into your Friday night into Saturday morning. And that's when that cold front will move through early Saturday morning and help push the rain out of here. Most of the rain for our area will be gone by sunrise on Saturday morning. We'll find drier skies and even a little bit of sunshine for your Saturday afternoon. As far as rain totals, significant rain. For possible for at least areas along the I-44 area. One to two inches of rain. Those totals gradually get a bit, little bit less as you head more to the north from Columbia to Jefferson City, about a quarter of an inch to a half inch or so, and you get north of Columbia and out towards Sedalia. We're talking maybe a few hundreds, if any, rain at all the further northwest you go. Because of that heavy potential for that rain, there is a flood watch in effect for the eastern Ozarks, and that stretches over into eastern Missouri as you get into the St. Louis metro area. Tonight, we'll find cloudy skies with rain developing after midnight. A good chance for rain. Winds will become a little bit more light towards sunrise. We'll pick up tomorrow afternoon northeast 10 to, or 5 to 10 miles per hour. Temperatures will be a little bit cooler. Still 60 degrees with some heavy rainfall possible on I-44. Here's your 7-day forecast. Again, rain should be out of here in time for the parade, the St. Pat's Parade on Saturday. That'll be at 2 in downtown Jefferson City. Sunday, warm, 68 degrees, lots of sunshine, even more mild and pleasant for your Monday, 72. Then we get into St. Patrick's Day. We'll find cooler, more March-like weather, a little bit more cloud cover, looking for the mid to upper 50s to right around 60 degrees for the middle part of next week. Your weather hot shot tonight, Lauren Ordway in Jefferson City got this sunrise this morning. Of course, a gorgeous shot. And if you have one you want to share, send it to me. We'd love to share that with everybody. Moral of the story is we're going to have a wet Friday. You're going to need the umbrellas, but we will find drier skies and more April-like temperatures for the second half of your weekend. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Zach.